Hello and welcome to another month of the Single Cast Club. Um, hello to everyone back again and hello to our new members. Um, special hello to our new members in America. Um, thanks for joining us. Sorry for a couple of technical issues getting there to start off with. But they should all be grand now going forward. Um, so, <laughs> how this works for our new guys. Um, dram 1, Dram 2. Have a chat about them, a bit about the distillation, the distillery. And then some tasting notes, and then dram two, and then don't forget kind of your discounts off the whiskey um, afterwards, and all other whiskeys on the website. So dram number one this month is from uh, Carn Moore. So this is from Morrison Distillers um, down in Perth. So Carn Moore they do like sister cast bottlings, the strictly limited. So it's generally you know under two thousand bottles. So this one's one thousand one hundred and seventy four bottles, and this is from uh, Tina Nick. So Tina Nick is from Allness which is just above um, Inverness, just above Dalmore as well. Um, kind of Invergordon, just not too far from there. Um, interesting thing about Tina Nick, it's kind of a big Diageo um, factory. It's a big kind of powerhouse for them. So because of that and looking for efficiencies, Diageo use a mash filter there instead of a mash tonne. So the difference between a mash filter and a mash tonne, a mash tonne always used the grist and the barley and all of it, and along with the flowers. It's all kind of worked out in the percentages. A mash filter, you use a lot more flour, so you get a lot more extraction, a lot quicker. And then they use lots of little plates, which all evenly spread. So it speeds up the process of a mash tun, so it increases their efficiencies, but then you also get a lot more extraction. So with this, um, teen and Nick's typical of some like really grassy, kind of green notes, kind of really fragrant, exotic kind of style um, uh, uh, base spirit. Um, so with their mash filter, they then have really short, fat, dumpy stills. So this helps to increase and add a bit of oiliness and weight to the spirit. With that, it doesn't take away from the, the, the fragrance of the, of the base spirit that they create. So it just adds that kind of weight and ability to kind of mature really nicely. Um, so this is in a European oak um, from Karen Moore. So this was distilled in 2013 and bottled in 2023 as a nine-year-old. All of Carmore Strictly limited range is all bottled at 46.5% and it's always natural colour and non-chill filter. So, let's have a look see what you think of this. So straight away, we get that really classic kind of vanilla, melon, fresh brioche buns. Lovely kind of grassy, tropical fruits there as well that you'd expect from Tina Nick. On the palate, cheers. Mm. it's quite orchard fruity a lot of melon in there as well again lovely soft vanilla that gristy barley which is interesting and then a great warmth the finish is sweet kind of subtle barley you get a slight soft oakiness through that as well the tannins are really helping balance that sweetness that's coming from the, the vanilla there. And the finish is just lovely lingering vanilla and soft tropical fruit. So that is our dram number one. Hello. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, Tina Nick. Um, the next one that we have this month is from one of my favourite new distilleries on the West Coast, well, newish, um, the Isle of Rasse. So Isle of Rasse is kind of on the kind of northwestish kind of coast of Sky on the west coast um, and this is their Duncana whiskey which is a sherry quarter cask release. Um, Duncana is the name of their the very obvious kind of flat top volcano on Rasse which is named after Dun which is the Gallic word for a stronghold and then Canna was um, a Norse prince who held um, Rasse as a territory during the Viking period. Um, so yeah Duncana. Uh, Bit about Rasse Distillery as well. Rasse um, has got a very long fermentation. Um, they produce peated and unpeated spirit. Not a huge heavy peating, and they think they produce a really lovely light style of peating within their whiskey. So they do a mixture of peated and unpeated um, releases. So they separate maturations, then join them together um, to reach the level of peating that they so wish for each release. Um, they've got cooling jackets on their wash still um, on the line arm there. So 
increases reflux into the still. And then a wash still, they've got an upward facing line arm. So it's the still that comes up from the neck of the still upwards, and that helps increase the reflux into the still to produce a really clean and fruity style of spirit. Rase Distillery, I think, is amazing what they've done to kind of revolutionise um, tourism and industry on the Isle of Rase. Um, it's an amazing spot if you get to go to it. It's a very cheap ferry ride from Sky, and um, it's well worth a spot if you get the weather um, over there. Um, so this is the yeah, Duncana. This is a um, primary maturation in um, American rye. They're American rye casts that they use. And then a secondary maturation in PX and Oloroso Sherry quarter casks. Um, bottled at 52% using a mixture, as I said, of, of peated spirit and unpeated spirit as well. Unaid stated, that's not something that Rase are doing at the moment, but it will be, it won't be a particularly old whiskey. It will be probably around kind of five. So on the nose, you get that classic rye, rye finish straight away. It's kind of that toasty, peppery spice, rich dried fruits, roasted nuts, and this really lovely kind of musky wood smoke as an initial temptation as what's to come. On the palate, Sam. Hmm. It's like vanilla toffee straight away. You get this lovely, glorious charred oak tannin. And then straight into this soft peaty body, which really kind of lingers, giving you a bit of sweet spice. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, vanilla toffee, that charred oak, soft vanilla, and then the finish we're getting is sweet, it's warm, so it's really lovely soft spicing to it. And then it's just coming, it's getting this slight kind of Dunwichy funk warehouse style from the oak as well. I think that matches that sweet, spicy, sweet, and then this tannic wood finish, finished with that peat body is just um tremendous so yeah that's dram number two for this month um hope you enjoyed them and we shall see you all again next month toodaloo